Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dominic. In this video, we are going to learn how to read the data from REST API and write to the blob storage in, in storage in Azure Data Factory. Let's go ahead and take a look uh, here what I have. Uh, I have this uh, website. This is a free website called JSON placeholder.typecode.com. That's the one. And uh, this has a REST API. So this is a free REST uh, API that you can use uh, for some experimenting. Uh, now, what we have here, uh, there are tons of uh, information uh, is available. You can have, uh, you know, uh, maybe just uh, user data. So if you want to download the user data, you can do that. And uh, there is uh, some other data available as well, uh, like such as uh, photos and, uh, you know, tons of other things. So um, we can experiment with the different things. Uh, let's uh, take a look. And uh, then you have uh, other uh, uh, available information as well, such as uh, you can uh, do post. These are all the different posts available with the user ID, IDs, title, and body of the post. So now what we are going to do, we are going to use a few of them and experiment how to read the data from the REST API and download to the blob storage. Now let's go to the Azure Data Factory here. And uh, first of all, we are going to create a pipeline. So there are multiple ways people start to create the, uh, the process. Um, so in my case, uh, most of the time uh, I go to simply author and then create a pipeline and uh, whatever comes in the uh, in the place, like let's say I have to create a linked service and all that, so I will keep doing it from there. So as I know that I need to read the data, I can use the copy activity. Okay, in the copy activity, I have uh, tons of uh, options available for me. Now I'm gonna go to the source and create a data set. Once I click on data set, it's going to ask me, okay, what type of data set is going to be? In my case, it's going to be REST API. So I select this REST and once I click next, what's gonna happen is gonna ask me, hey, do you have a link service available for this one? And I don't. So I'm gonna click on new and then it's gonna ask me all the information that I have to provide. So it is, a, I'm using a, via auto resolve integration runtime and a base URL. Do I, then what I have to do here, I have to go here and click what I need to download. In this case, uh, let's just start with the users. So we are gonna go ahead and copy this URL and uh, uh, then we are gonna go to the Azure Data Factory back and provide the base URL. So there is a relative URL and all those kind of different settings you can do that. But in our case, it's straightforward URL that we have to provide. In the authentication, I'm gonna go as anonymous and because I do not have a username, password and all those kind of things. And we can have other validation, sorry, authentication types as well. In my case, this is gonna work just fine. It's a totally free. Server certification validation. So if uh, you know that, uh, do you need a certificate or you don't or whatever, so you select accordingly. In my case, I'm gonna leave this to, to open or enable and uh, let's uh, test our connection. Now you have the, some parameter values. Uh, if you wanna change uh, uh, you know, a few things in your, uh, um, uh, let's say in your base URL and all those kind of things, you can always create a parameter and save the value in parameter and make your link service as a parameterized link service so, so you can change the values. Now go test connection and it is successful. I'm gonna hit the create and uh, now I'm gonna hit the okay. And uh, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna name this one so next time we remember that the rest, rest API to blob. Okay, so that's fine. Now what we need to do next, uh, we need to click on the copy activity. We need to go to the sync. Here in the source, uh, I'm gonna get the data. So you have get and post. In our case, it's going to be only get. Okay, so request timeout. Uh, you have a time you can, um, depending on your network uh, or uh, the website from where you are extracting the data, you can increase the time if you feel like that's important. And a request interval milliseconds and all that you can play with these different uh, uh, values here. And uh, uh, you know if uh, you feel like uh, uh, you know they are helpful. So increase or decrease depending on your scenario. So you see right there the internal time between different requests for multiple pages in milliseconds. The request interval value should be number number between ten and uh, sixty thousand. So you can do that. Now, uh, there are some uh, additional uh, headers and pagin pagination rule and everything you can provide that, but in my case, I'm fine. If you wanna add a new column, you can also create a new column here. 
Now we are all good here, go to sync, and we are gonna go to the Azure Blob storage, and that's where we would like to write the data to container. It's going to be JSON type of output. Now what we are gonna do, we are gonna click right here and create a new uh, linked service for our storage. So select subscription, go to storage account, and uh, test your connection, it's uh, all good. So Azure Blob storage four, uh, that's what our uh, link service name is. And now we are gonna go browse to the output to container and uh, hit okay. In the, and uh, hit okay here, and uh, then next uh, what we are gonna do, we are gonna click right there on the open and provide the file name. So in my case, uh, I'm gonna call it user, and uh, that's it. You don't have to provide any extension or anything like that. You can simply provide the name. It's going to be JSON type of file. Okay, so we are all good here. Uh, let's go to the uh, pipeline again. And uh, there's no mapping required here, you know, so you don't worry about that because it's a JSON. It's just gonna straightforward uh, dump to the uh, blob storage. So we can uh, hit debug and it should read the data from our REST API online website and uh, then post to our Azure Data Factory blob storage. So it's executing right now. If you click right there, so okay, REST, that's the type of uh, HTTP request timeout, that's the time interval, get method is used, and uh, then a sync is going to be JSON sync and all that. So it got completed successfully. So let's click on the output and uh, here we can see some information and data read that these many that are written, okay, so this uh, looks fine. And uh, we are all good here. Now, if we click here on this uh, icon, you can see it read from the rest and write, wrote to the Azure Blob storage. And uh, how many objects read 10 and uh, written 10, you know, so all good. Let's go to the Azure Blob storage uh, sorry, here and go to the containers here, and one of the container is called the output container. And that's where our file is. So if you see the user file is right there, and I'm gonna click right there and edit, and you can see right there, so it's uh, all the data is looking just fine here. This is the same data what we saw on the uh, website. So I can always copy, and if I wanna just, uh, where, where did you go? Okay, I'm gonna click right there on user again, and then edit. And then I click here, Control A, Control again. When I did the Control A, Control C, it uh, did it brought me back here. So let me go right there, Control A, Control C, and now I will bring the online JSON validator, Control A, Control V, and validate JSON. See right there, somehow uh, it had brought all the data, but somehow it is uh, giving me this error. I believe this is a kind of a uh, uh, formatting issue here, you know, see right there. So I don't know if I will uh, bring next line and this is gonna be just fine. So as long as you have correct data, that should be fine, no big deal, you know, and uh, we can uh, try with some other data. Let's see what we have there. Now, if I go back here and uh, let's see if I go to the use, there was users. And if I wanna go to the, let's say post. Now, this is a one post. Let me see if I can get multiple posts. See right there. So this has also JSON. I'm gonna copy, go back to my Azure Data Factory here, click right there, and uh, go to source. And then I'm gonna go open data set. And here I'm gonna go edit and paste that URL. And now save and execute this pipeline again. So debug. And uh, let me see if I have file open, I'm gonna just close the file. Okay, it's still a use user file, but uh, it could have changed the name, but we did not. So it wrote 24, see the size of that change. So let's uh, refresh and it got uh, completed. So all good here, let's go to user and here you are gonna go to edit and uh, see the data is there. See so it's saying the file user may not render correctly as the container contains an un uh, recognized extension. So as we did not provide the right to extension, that's why, you know, it's in, uh, given us this warning. So we can go to the JSON formatter here, paste it there, JSON, and still uh, we are seen right there. I don't think so it's the JSON, uh, uh, the problem is with the, uh, what you call the extension. But anyways, we are gonna go ahead and provide the JSON, okay? So if see if that helps. So I'm gonna, just for, uh, making sure it is, okay? 
So now uh, let's see. This is not our really problem, but I'm just showing you. Now I have uh, one more website that we can use as a dummy and to test that out. Like if, if this is making a sense, you know, or maybe the data provided on this uh, site was not in the correct format or it's not written in uh, writing in the correct format. Uh, but uh, it should be okay. So we go back here. Uh, let's close this guy. No, no, let's refresh. See right there, JSON. So now if we click here, edit. Now that uh, part has gone, uh, you know, where we have seen that uh, like warning because now we are saving in the correct uh, format. Uh, now if I do val validate JSON, still I have the issue here uh, with the, that uh, space or whatever. So let me test uh, one more time with this guy. So see right there, this has employees uh, uh, data. So if I copy this guy, this is uh, another website that provide the free JSON data. So I'm gonna use that one and test uh, this. Uh, so let's see if this is a problem with the website or with our own uh, code. So now we go to source again, and they go to open, edit, and then provide uh, this source. Okay, hit okay. And now we are gonna rerun, and uh, that should be fine. Same uh, file, it's gonna be user.json file. So let's refresh. Okay, see if it is completed. Okay, it is completed. And now we go back here and use a .json. And here, the data is there. So now if I do control A, copy, bring to the JSON validator here. So, and do JSON validation, it is coming correct. So I think that that's a, there is something to do with this uh, website, but it is okay. So now you got the whole idea how you can uh, read from different uh, uh, REST APIs and write the data to your JSON file in the blob, Azure Blob Storage. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this video is helpful. I will see you guys in the next video.